Hi, I'm Randy Altman with Post Perspective. We're here at Seagraph 2023. This is Natalia from Unity Weta Tools. Natalia, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Sure. So you guys are here showing off some new some new tools, but I was hoping just to go into a little background about um, when you purchased uh, the tools from Weta and your relationship that is ongoing with them. Sure. Well, I guess I would like to start from, you know, why was Unity trying to do? What is it trying to do? What is it goal is? And, I mean, simply put, we, we started the whole company with the notion that, you know, we believe that the world is better with more creators in it. And fundamentally, what we want to do is help people become creators who may not have thought of themselves as creators and help creators who already are creating to become, you know, to have better tools, sort of like tools in their superhero tool belt, right? Like yeah. if you think about the Batman's you know, tool sure. belt, to have the best at their disposal so that it, these tools help bring out the best of what's in them. And then to help them iterate on that vision that's in their head to the best of their ability because they have all the right tools. They're not limited by what's there. And so the reason I start from that is because when you look in the industry, right, when you look at innovation that's happening that pushes the frontiers of what people are trying to do, the ability to do the impossible. What does name comes to mind instantly? And the, oh, you know, absolutely. you've been at, I've been at Cigarette for decades, and, and yeah, that's always been something that is permeating the whole show. But beyond that, just in the industry, when you're looking for example of outstanding, bleeding edge accomplishments, yep. you know that you're you know there's plenty of others that are also daring just the same. But what is an outstanding example of that? And so we formed a relationship with the notion of um, you know together they also were interested to help some of their tools help other creators to be successful and so unity with weather really you know was a perfect addition from the deep expertise of cutting edge truly production proven tools and then with unity side we're kind of building on our strengths of being able to bring it to a wide audience so that many can benefit from this not just the few who may have the large budgets or the right. large workforce capability but make them more accessible Make them something that, you know, a person who may not have all the, you know, oomph of a production studio, but still benefits from ability to get to their vision. And then the other part of building in the strengths of unity of also bringing it to a wider reach, reach of experience. When we say we believe in more creators, of course, we want to amplify, you know, folks in film, uh, you know, getting access to that folks in industries. Digital twins, they also can use the amazing tools and create yeah. incredible worlds. And then, of course, for real time. And then get it to, you know, as an artist, what do you want? You want to create, but you want audiences to experience the art. I mean, that's what movie, movies are all about, right? Sure. Like, you want those stories to be felt. And so with Unity, we have opportunity to kind of build on some of the excellence of Weta, but then bring it to an audience across a really wide reach of platforms. And of course, now with a recent announcement in the industry, there's definitely a momentum of bringing high fidelity experiences to a much wider you know, untethered, mobile, et cetera, et cetera, platforms that yeah. are relevant to people. And I think for creators, that's huge. Oh my God. Plus for, for people that they can say they're using the same tools to create that Weta used to create, you know, Planet of the Apes or Pogo. That's right. For, or She-Hulk or, you know, yeah. Shang-Chi or, or Wakanda or thousands of other examples because, I mean, literally every production is built on using these tools. And, and what's wonderful for creators too you know, what we're trying to do in Unity Weta Tools is we're trying to build a trusted suite of tools. And it's super important for us to start from the understanding of what artists are trying to do. And for them, the, the, the knowledge that these tools are not something new that they have to go, you know, it's a big decision to change a tool in the pipeline. This is yes. their blood, sweat and tears, you know, that they depend on. And to know that they have been through many of these productions that they have been forged through the fires yeah. right like of the demands that are unparalleled that's something that as a creator i would feel comforted because you know that it's going to deliver and i think that that's a non-trivial advantage that is unparalleled because of the decade of using it on you know every show that you can think of that has delivered on the result and delivered with cost because of course in everybody's mind is the ability to deliver on creative vision, but just as equally, production, business, you know, production cost, and 
the fact that these tools are much more effective. Yeah. That they can, like, to give you an example, we're releasing this, um, you know, a tool for grooming called Wig, uh, for hair and fur grooming. And one of the quotes that I love from one of the artists who worked, her, Sarah Hansen, she works on grooms day in day out, and she worked at Weta FX, she worked at, you know, Dina, Dijon, made a bunch of other companies. And what she shared, which I thought was so impactful, was she is able to create incredibly high fidelity hair grooms, but she's able to do it, let's say, in, in a different software, she can she would have to spend six months on a hair groom. But with Wix, she can do it in four weeks. Wow. Right? And so this is significant, not only it's a lot more interesting to her because she can do it effectively, but it's a significant production cost saving to the overall success in, in making the company be successful. And for background characters, she said it went down from four to six weeks to two days. That's amazing. So what are some of the other tools that you guys in, in, you know, introduced here? Well, so what we're really focusing on kind of the aspects of how do we help creators be uh, in the flow, so creative iteration loop. One example of that is uh, compositing tools. So we're putting out um, uh, Deep Comp, yeah, is a suite of 80 notes for Nuke that are delivering ability for compositors, which usually happens at the final stages of the pipeline when you know most filmmakers kind of leave their decisions, the, the really important ones, till that phase, but most of the production pipeline has moved on. And so Deep Comp really helps, it gives a ton more uh, workflow tools, it kind of makes it a playground for compositors to be able to get what they need with feedback from the director, you know, yeah. points uh, without having to go back and re-render, without having have to go back to all the departments that may even be on another production at this point. And so Deep Comp, Eddy is another tool that we're releasing for compositing workflow. Super impactful tool in case you discover director comes back and says, you know this explosion? I'd like to have more debris flying out. Or I need a plume of smoke here to really punch up you know, the intensity of the scene. And so in most cases, that means going back all the way to the you know, earlier production phases, getting the same you know, effects department to go create a new plume of smoke, delays. With Eddie, it runs a GPU, they can create the plume of smoke in seconds, if not minutes, you know, and then they're able to plug it into deep, composite it in, composite it into the pipeline, so immediately accessible for iteration. Right. Other tools that we're also releasing are character workflow tools, so we have a whole suite of tools for character simulation and deformation, unparalleled biomechanical simulation for creatures, characters, digital humans, whether for offline or real time, with Zero VFX 2.0. Okay. And so one of the amazing things that the teams have worked on is they, they ask this, themselves this question, how do we make it easy for people to stay in that creative flow with a fast, tight iteration loop? And so they move the simulation, full fidelity, to the GPU. And so what that means is now the, cut, the time to, to do the simulation is cut down to by 2 or 3x. So imagine how much faster the person, the, the rigor and yeah. the TD is working on. Now they're able to do that. They did a ton of other improvements to make it easier to set up and not have to go and reset up collisions. So, so it's, all, it's all about saving time and, get, like you said, getting, getting to the creating. And saving. Absolutely, quicker. because we want people who are using it to, you know, again, be their best selves and not get bothered by this setup tweakery and yeah. the delays and also dependencies too because you know we have so much more complexity in the pipelines now the back and forth between department i know every company struggles with that yeah they put in a ton of work to kind of create this pipeline the unblocking so a lot of tools are focused on the iteration also to help with that too Make you feel empowered so that you can deliver on what's in your head and in director's mind. Yeah, it's great. Where can people go to find out more? So Unity Weta Tools has a website. If you go to unity.com, you'll be able to get to Unity Weta Tools very easily. The There's a beta program where you can sign up. We have a QR code actually all around the show, but then if you get you know, our keynote, you're going to get the scan just really quickly to sign up and show your interest. A lot of these tools are landing now or you know, in beta at SIGGRAPH and coming out in Q3 and Q4 this year. So they're imminent. There's a ton more tools for vegetation modeling with speed tree upgrades, and we're doing a lot more work to build additional tools. So it'd be a great thing to sign up so you also learn about upcoming tools coming in the next couple quarters. Fantastic. Natalia, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Yeah, sure.